Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So we have got a full face Friday coming at you right now. So we're going to go ahead and play our intro. Okay, so I got a full box of I bet you can't guess what. Now, this is not all new. This is stuff I need to do my makeup. But look how cute. Open in case of party emergency from Colourpop. So we've all seen the videos. They've got a new foundation, which let me not even try to play so excited it's not even funny I love ColourPop I think they are super affordable super reasonable from my experience about 90% of their eyeshadows lippies all that good stuff work extremely well for me so like to say that I'm excited it's almost an understatement because I've been waiting for this day. Been waiting for it because it is so hard to find a good affordable brand that actually performs well, doesn't cost a lot. Like, usually you have to sacrifice one thing for the other. And thankfully with ColourPop, that's not the case. And I absolutely love that about them. So, <clears throat> I dug through what I already had and got some new things. You know, obviously I had to get the foundation, I got the powder, I had to get a concealer. I know, how can I even be a fan when I would never tried their concealer? Things happen, guys. But <laughs> had to get a brow pencil, a little contour, a little highlight, you know. So yeah, we got all the things except the mascara, which will be all right, <clears throat> and we're just going to try it all out. So what we're going to do today, I'm going to give you a really good review of this um, foundation and powder. Everything else we're just going to kind of run through. I'm in a little bit of a hurry. I'm late for work. <laughs> Let me give you a time. It's almost 8 a.m., guys. This just turned into a 10 minute makeup challenge. No, really though. Um, anyways, here is the bottle, of course, glass, no cap, you twist to turn it on and off, stars on it. I am shade Fair 35, or at least that's what I, that's what I picked. So we are gonna hope that is the right shade. Take a few little pumps on the hand. Very liquidy. Duh. And I'm going to take my OI6. Yes, Laura got me, but it is a really good brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and use this. I already put on some unidentified primer because ColourPop ain't got primer yet either. So, we used an unidentified, but I promise a really good primer. So, here we go. just applied one little layer and yeah guys I did it again does this ever fail I mean every time a foundation test like everybody picks on me because I'm so pale and yet every time I get a new foundation I get it to a lot like what is going on okay so fair 35 is apparently not quite my shade sure in the winter time it'll be perfect no worries there but uh we got that foundation on coverage is pretty good 
I like it, I like it. It actually looks closer to my shade, like not with these lights on me. I don't know. But we're going to go ahead and toss some concealer. I can't say much about the foundation except that it is really nice until I've worn it throughout the day. So, concealer, and I have this in shade Fair 04. Concealer is on. Next thing we have got is their brand new setting powder. Now, I haven't been telling y'all, but foundation is 12, concealer 6, this is 9. It is really affordable, but Jesus, this is a small thing. Like, I don't know about y'all, but I got a lot of face and I go through a lot of setting powder. But it is super affordable, so guess I can't complain too much though I would rather not have to order as often with like a $12 price point than knowing I'm gonna have to order like all the time because I don't want to run out <clears throat> but the translucent has a tiny bit of a color to it nothing too crazy I'm gonna take it and apply it with a sponge below the eyes to avoid some creasing this is what I don't like like I feel like I'm going through so much of this powder already and it's such a small container like I know if I continue to use it I'm gonna run out really fast okay and then we're just gonna take a little bit more and kind of dust it all over the face just to uh, set in this foundation. Make sure it's got a good set because it is very hot here today. I can already tell y'all I will get oily later. Don't blame that on the foundation. That's just what happens when you live in Arkansas in the summer there is no avoid on it <sighs> okay <clears throat> so next I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows um, I'm gonna do this off camera but I just want to show y'all that I got the brow boss and it looks first off it's little bitty cute white small tip mm, spooly and I think this thing was $5. I'm pretty sure. You know how I feel. Brow pencils are brow pencils. But I got it in the color dark brown. And I'm just going to go ahead and do that real quick. And then I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So I went ahead and kicked off that bake. And now I'm going to regret this mistake that I noticed I made even more. <laughs> we are going to attempt to bronze up my face. What I got to do that is the Step Right Up Face Duo. I think these are sort of new, but not like this last launch. I think the one right before. So it's got a bronzer and a highlighter. But y'all, look at that dang bronzer. How pale you gotta be for this to be a bronzer. I don't know. I'm talking all this crap. Maybe it's gonna be the best bronzer I've ever used. But we're gonna bronze up real quick. Okay, <clears throat> you can see it. Uh, I don't know what is up with my lights, you guys. Like, I literally don't know why this is washing me out so bad. Like, this foundation is a teeny bit light, but I swear to goodness it's not that bad. But you can see this bronzer, nothing too heavy. Uh, I guess it's okay. It's just really light for my taste. But I do like this highlight, so we're going to go ahead and toss that on real quick and see how it looks okay so 
So that highlighter though is definitely really good, really blinding. I like it. It definitely wins. So um, now I guess I'm going to go ahead and go in with a little bit of eyeshadow. I did get this new eyeshadow. It was free with purchase. I think it's available. It wasn't available to get by itself. I think it is now. Um, it looks like this. It just got six shimmers. It's so little and cute. And these shimmers are actually bomb. But I'm just going to go ahead and do my regular eye with my I Think I Love You palette. Y'all know I used to use this all the time. It was my first ColourPop palette. So I just take these in the crease and then a little bit of, hmm, take a little bit of this one on the lid and maybe this in the outer corner. So I'm just going to go ahead, we're going to do this real quick, I'm going to speed through this, pop this thing on. So the eyes are done and now I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, we're going to do a little bit of eyeliner if this isn't dried out. Uh oh. Okay. No, it's not. Okay. I'm going to do not a wing, not a wing, just a thin, thin line. I have their eyeliner pot. I got my little brush. We're just going to do a thin line. That's it. No wings, no wings in here. Okay, so this eyeliner is very black. It's easy to work with. I lied. I did a teeny tiny baby wing. Nothing crazy. And yeah, so we are going to go ahead and I think we're going to do this lip combo with Bumble. And then I've got a lippy pencil in Dohi. I don't know. But this is what they look like by each other. I think that combo will work out okay. Bumble is, of course, pretty sure it's like a kind of like a cult favorite of ColourPop. I put some lip liner on, fill my lips in just a little bit, a lot of bit, whatever, same thing. So now I'm going to go ahead and put Bumble on real quick. my freaking lips they still came out crooked but it's fine so we've got this face and makeup almost done time for some unidentified mascara and setting spray okay guys so this is our final look with a full face of color pop we're gonna zoom in so you can see this foundation it's definitely matte it's got a good finish. It is a good shade match. Like, it's not off. I'm just so pale. Stinking exposure doesn't know what to do for now. So, it's a good match. It looks good. It's not making my textures really any worse. But bronzer was still not dark enough. Ah, it's okay. Um, everything worked really well, but the foundation, concealer, and setting powder are our main focus for today because... I already know how I feel about their eyeshadow and lippies, hence the reason why I have an entire 
acrylic container of ColourPop lippies and an entire basket of ColourPop palettes. I already know I like those. So, we've already got these base products today. So far, so good. I'm going to try to treat this like I do my lipstick wear test. Better. I think I straightened up my lips. They're at least closer. But I'm going to treat this how I've been treating my lipstick test. And I will be back every so often today. And then one last time tonight. Um, yeah, so that is it. <laughs> I'm late for work. But we said 10 minute makeup challenge. All seriousness. That full face took a little under 30 minutes, and that includes me rambling. So I think that's an accomplishment. Oh, now my lights want to act right. Okay, yeah. Now I look cute. All right, let's not jinx it. <laughs> I'll be back in a little bit to tell you guys how this is performing. It is super hot today. Probably important to tell you what the weather's going to be like. Oh, please God, don't let it be rainy today. I feel like it's going to be... Oh, okay. So today it is cloudy, 74 degrees, supposed to get up to about 92, supposedly no rain, but 92 is still hot because it's humid in Arkansas. <sighs> I have eyeshadow on my hand. But yeah, okay, we will be back. I have to stop talking. See y'all in a minute. Hey you guys, so it is noon. We have still got our full face of ColourPop on <laughs> um so for this foundation <clears throat> let me show you right here it is gone on my nose i'm not gonna fully blame that on the foundation my nose is runny because the weather keeps changing so uh i have been rubbing it a lot so it's, it's pretty normal we're not super oily yet not too bad <clears throat> still pretty matte you can see texture but not really worse than my other foundations. Got a little bit of creasing, but just like right up here. A little bit in these smile lines. Y'all enjoying this close up of my horrible skin. I've been working on it, I promise. But I mean, overall, like this foundation is super solid so far. Um, I think the setting powder was really good, but my eyes just creased really bad. That's a thing that happens. Not much I can do about it. <clears throat> Bless this lipstick's heart. It's looking terrible, but I had a quesadilla, so that's my fault. But yeah, um, this foundation and setting powder and the concealer are all holding up pretty well. They're not exceptional, but they're not any worse than any other foundation that I use. Definitely like it so far. We'll see how well it holds out through the rest of the day and go ahead and make our decision. So I will see you guys after work. Okay guys, so sorry about all the noise. My dog is having a conniption. I'm laying down because somebody decided that I'm a bed. And somebody else is chilling. Yeah. Okay, so it's like six o'clock. So we are at oh Jesus, nine-ish hours of war time. Yeah, I know it look rough. It's okay. Uh so okay, here's how I feel. There is a ton of texture. It's all gone around my nose. My under eyes do not look good. They looked good for a while though, I'll give it that. But it's like patching off. It's still not super oily on me, which is super surprising too, but you know. So it's holding up okay. I'll use it again. I don't know. I'll come back in a couple more hours and tell y'all all my feels. <laughs> Okay, guys, these glasses are distracting. I'm sorry. Let's turn the ring light down. You can still see it. Y'all be okay. Okay, so first off, my contacts attacked me. Sorry for the glasses. <laughs> okay, so my hair is a mess. Let's go ahead and give y'all a time. It is 8.20 p.m. 21, which puts us at... 12 hours okay so first off I have touched up nothing today at all this is a full face of ColourPop except the mascara I did wear primer so mascara and primer here is our zoom 
and we are about to look at this. Now I want you to notice this is gone around my mouth is gone I have horrible texture I showed you one of the foam videos but it's bad I am shiny splotchy not flaky and my lipstick is messed up but I did that was really hard on it today but yeah um so final thoughts on this foundation ColourPop did. It's not a bad foundation. Now y'all know when I put it on this morning, I really liked it. I was excited. I thought it looked great. My check-in right after lunch, other than my nose, I was pretty cool with it. So that was about four hours. After about four or five hours, everything just went all the way downhill. It turned oily started patching off I was just so shiny it was ridiculous every time I even touched my face it just like even if I just barely touched my face like I bumped against something earlier and there was foundation everywhere and I uh, I used the setting powder swear to goodness I did I'm not gonna say that I don't like the setting powder and the concealer because the setting powder felt really really nice and the concealer I mean it didn't feel bad at all I think it's just that this foundation, though it claims to be a long wearing foundation, is really more like a four to five hour foundation if we're being generous. Now granted, I will also give you enough to say that I am in Arkansas at the end of June. It's hot. Every time I went outside, it was just like whoosh, heat everywhere. My car was like a sauna every time I went to leave for lunch, to go home, whatever. That could have been a big factor. If you are in a very hot area, this ain't going to be your best option. I think if it were, say, winter, this would stay on way better because it wouldn't be able to sweat off. In the winter, I don't get as oily anyways. So I think maybe in cooler weather me and this foundation can get down but in this heat it ain't going I may wear it sometimes if I know I won't be gone long or if I'm just doing a video or taking some pictures or whatever because at first it was super nice like I really liked it at first but I just I can't wear this if I gotta be somewhere all day long yeah so yeah that's it. It's not a bad foundation, but it's definitely not as long wearing. It has a wonderful, gorgeous finish until you get hot and you start sweating and then it just goes all the way downhill. The shade range is incredible. ColourPop is a great company. I really like 80-90% of their products. It depends on what day you catch me on. But I like most of their stuff. And I do like this for what it is. But I won't be wearing it this summer when I'm going to be outside. <laughs> so it is approved-ish. I think it's a good foundation. I think it's a reasonable price. I think you could get some awesome wear out of it. Some really good pictures. Do I think this should be someone's daily wear foundation year round? No. I wouldn't recommend it. Unless you just have like really dry skin. And even then I don't think it would be that great. I don't know. It's supposed to be a matte finish, but I mean, I look oily as crap, and I just, I don't know. But yeah, that is it for today's review. I'm not even sure how to end this video, so we're just going to end it. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed. If you have any other questions, leave them down below. If I decide to test it out again, I will let y'all know. And maybe in the winter, I know that's a while, but I'll mention how it wears when I'm not in hot weather. So, yeah, and sorry about these glasses. Again, I know this uh, light is distracting, but when the contacts hurt, they gotta go. So, that is it for today's video. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed, and I will see you in a couple of days. Bye, you guys.